Before I continue discussing the markets, please take this moment now with helping me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click subscribe. Click this bell. Click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click the thumbs up button every time you watch my videos. Okay, let's continue with the view of the markets. Welcome to another video of Winning Wall Street's Money. In this video, I'm going to discuss investing and trading in currencies. The currencies I'm going to show you are the ones traded in the futures market and forex market. Investing, you could buy these in the stock market as stock ETFs, several of them. So if you want to invest instead of necessarily trading and own a nest egg of currencies, you could do that with the stock ETFs. You could consider buying one share of the currencies on the stock ETFs that you are bullish on. Hold them for a month, three months, six months, a year, as long as you're seeing improvement on them. That's something to consider too, instead of just looking to have stocks on businesses, but to diversify your nest egg, your basket, your investment with currencies. First, we're going to look here at the cryptocurrency that trades in the futures market as well, Bitcoin. So all these charts I'm going to be showing you will be the weekly time frame, meaning each candle is a week. And obviously it's Thursday, so the candle's not complete yet. Here, looking at Bitcoin, it's building a wedge. And the current candle is inside candle. It has not taken out the high or low of last week, but the trend has been lower. All the highs have been making lower highs. And notice the range of the width is also tighter. So that is making a wedge. And when it breaks out, whatever direction, that would be the next trend. Now looking at the US dollar here on the right. Again, each candle is a week. The bigger picture is the trend has been down and it's currently in a consolidation. And past day, the Federal Reserve came out with an announcement they're going to leave interest rates alone. Typically, when you raise interest rates, the U.S. dollar goes accordingly. Well, they're not raising interest rates, so you shouldn't expect necessarily the U.S. dollars go higher. Yes, the U.S. dollar is one of three currencies for safe haven that people buy, invest in when they want to be in a safe currency. Well, they're not doing that because the value, the, the momentum is down. And we have a bounce and acceleration. If you're bearish and expecting prices to go lower, there are opportunities here to trade and make money on the downside. So the stock ETF is available for this. One of them is Uniform Uniform Papa. But I'm, I'm showing you here again, the US dollar index, dollar sign, Delta X-ray Yankee. So there we go. We have both in a decline, Bitcoin cryptocurrency and the US dollar. Yep. Let's go on to the next. We'll look at the US pairs that it trades in the futures market. The US dollar is made up of several currencies. The top three currencies, the biggest currency in the US dollar, the weighs the most is the Euro, followed by the yen, then the pound and the Canadian dollar. So a movement in the Euro, Euro US dollar has a big effect on the US dollar index. And these are the futures we're looking at. It has a forward slash six followed by the letter for the currency. So that means when you set forward slash in the six, that means it's a currency pair in the futures market. Again, this does have a stock ETF. So the momentum and the trend has been up. And this wedge, these purple lines are getting tighter. It's building a coil. And now it's coming close to the bottom of the call. So maybe it'd be a bounce go up and have the new trend. The past three weeks is building a consolidation. And the all-time high this year was right there. So again, if you're bullish, you can buy the stock ETF, Foxtrot X-Ray Echo. You might consider just buying one share if you're bullish and see how that performs before you go in load. If you can't handle one share, why would you want to buy more than one share? Yeah, baby steps. Looking at Japanese yen. Just like the euro. 
It's in a coil. It's in a wedge going up. It's testing the bottomless wedge. Again, this candle hasn't closed yet for the week. It also has a stock ETF. Let's go on to the next. The British pound. Look at that wedge. It's hanging there at the top of the wedge. In the past two weeks, it broke above the prior consolidation. It's also this week made an all-time high. I mentioned my past videos. If you click on the playlist on YouTube, on my channel, there's a thing called a playlist. You click on it, you can see currencies. And I've mentioned so many times that I am bullish on the pound. I think it's going to go higher since it left the EU and it's been doing that momentum. It's outperforming the Euro for that pair. It also has a stock ETF. Look at the Canadian dollar. It's an acceleration phase. Last week made an all time high for the year. It's trading back in here. Are you bullish the Canadian dollar? Think it's going to outperform the US dollar? Well, it has been. And the Swiss franc, that is another safe haven currency. The Swiss franc, Japanese yen, and the US dollar. But we see people are not buying the US dollar for safe haven. They are buying Japanese yen and here the Swiss franc. It's an acceleration. It made an all time high this year. And now it's back inside the acceleration. And the Aussie dollar, really, really strong. One of the strongest currencies because their country's heavily weighted in commodities. So look at that. It's tight trading range the last few days. Sorry, last few weeks. Once it made this momentum, see, this is a long oscillation. Broke out. That's a trend. That trend momentum was to the upside. Now it's an oscillation again. Are you bullish? Do you think also it's going to do like this? Have oscillation, break out, trend to the upside? Well, again, has a stock ETF. You could consider buying one share or what you want to allocate, it's your risk. Understand a lot of people that manage people's funds, investments, don't offer you currencies. And a lot of, if you work for the government or a company that offers you investment where they pay partly in or you pay partly into, you notice a lot of them are limited what they offer you. Maybe they just offer you Fidelity, Merrill Lynch, Vanguard, Dreyfus. Yeah, they're not open-minded to let you decide any direction you want to buy. And a lot of them don't offer currencies because they don't make enough money. They're not in your best interest. They're performing their best interest, their bottom line. Hold them accountable. Let's go on to the next. Like I said, the three biggest currencies in the US dollar was the Euro, the yen and the pound. So let's look at the Euro peers already. These are Forex. How do you know they're Forex peers? Got six letters. The first three followed by a forward slash three letters. The first three letters is the strongest pair. So if this is momentum to the upside, that's giving strength to the first three letters. And I already showed you the Euro US dollar in the futures market because it trades in both. Let's go on to the next. The Euro Yen, again, the first three letters are Euro. So the upside means it's stronger for the Euro. Yen is a safe haven currency. It's in a consolidation. Make an all time high this year, the Euro against the Yen. Will that continue? Or run acceleration. It's holding above 125. Euro pound, the big pair to watch. Yep. I am in favor of the pound. I say again against the euro. And look, the first three letters are euro. So if the price is declining here, that favors the pound. And it broke out of acceleration. The momentum is going down. That's giving strength to the pound against the euro. Really good. Euro Canadian dollar. A lot of whipsaw. A lot of whipsaw. Hard to get a good read on here. So you pass, look for something better. Euro Swiss franc. Again, Swiss franc is one of the safe haven currencies, but it's in a big consolidation. It's not trending. Look for something else. Euro Aussie. Yeah, very well. It's trending down. That's in favor of the Aussie, go Aussie, really strong. So we already saw the Australian dollars outperforming the US dollar, Australian dollar is outperforming the Euro. So again, you can buy the Aussie stock ETF. So now we just looked at these. Again, the week's not done yet, but you see several of them are in consolidations versus trending. 
Let's go on to the yen pair. Already showed the US dollar yen in the for, in the futures market. Let's this is the forex. Let's go on to the next euro yen. Already spoke about that. Pound yen. First three letters are pound. So again, the upside represents stronger pound. And this is a wedge. I'll draw the purple lines later. And then that wedge is building a coil tighter, tighter, tighter. So now exploding up. The pound is doing very well against the yen. And this gray horizontal line is the midpoint of this prior consolidation. It's very interesting if it's going to reject that or just build acceleration, break higher. Let's look at the longer time frame. There it is. There's the wedge. I mean, there's the acceleration, the midpoint. But the momentum has been upside. A pound is doing very well. Canadian dollar yen. Mm. Consolidation. Not much of a uh, trending. There's better opportunities. Two safe haven currencies, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. The struggle's real. Who wants to control between these two? Wow. It's in a consolidation. Retest this prior area, which was a supply area. Suppliers where sellers were, and the green area was demand zone where buyers were. Big consolidation. Interesting if it's going to break out above the swing high or fill and go back to the swing low. Aussie yen. Again, we have a safe haven currency, the yen, and Aussie, a currency that trade, both of them trade in obviously the uh, Asian continents. So it's an acceleration. The prior trend was upside, giving favor to the Aussie against the yen. Let's go on to the final. The pound. Already spoke about the pound, the dollar. Already did the pound, the yen. Already did the euro pound. Pound and Canadian dollar. Wow, look at the pound broke out of this consolidation against the Canadian dollar. Right off the bat, now you be aware of the Australian dollar is outperforming against many currencies in the British pound. You could trade against stock ETFs on the British pound, Australian dollar. You could have done that last year as well and already been making more money for us if you got in today because my past videos I've been mentioning that. Pound Swiss franc. It's in exhalation. It's coming up to the swing high, this yellow. Horizontal line is a swing high here. And the strength is the upside for the British pound against the Swiss franc. See if it's going to break above that, close above that, or reject that. We'll find out. Pound, Australian dollar. Well, the first three letters of the pound giving that strength. So declining prices here are favoring the Australian dollar. And look at that, Seneca consolidation, tight consolidation. The call is tough there. Hmm. And I'll end there. Please click the like below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this market information I've shared and want to learn more with greater detail, step-by-step -step training, I have a Patreon page. I share trade ideas for earning monthly income. Below in the description box, click show more. Scroll down. This link here, click on it. Take you here to my Patreon page. Select the membership and join. Then you have access to unlock my posts.